Hey everybody, apologies for taking so long to make this video. I've been sick for the past week. Don't worry, I'm getting better now, so I don't have that crazy China flu that's been spreading. Um, so this video, I'm going to talk about the TechPots 2 Pro. They're wireless earbuds from Mobvoi, a Chinese startup that's... Um, you probably best know them for making tick watches, but in China, they're huge. They make the digital navigation systems for a lot of like AI um, in cars and also they run the entire Android Wear in China because Google doesn't have access in China. So anyway, as you can see, these are obviously AirPods clone. So in terms of design, they're not that interesting at all. In fact, there are so many AirPods clone out in the wild right now, including from pretty famous brands like Realme. I don't even bother reviewing them to be honest because I find them a little bit boring. But I'm gonna make an exception for the TickPods 2 Pro because they are actually very good. And these may be the most feature-packed AirPods I've tried yet, even more so than the AirPods. So what makes the AirPods so popular, other than the fact that it has the Apple branding, is that they are in fact very easy to use. All you have to do is take the AirPods out of the box. And if you have an iPhone nearby, a, a little pop-up window automatically pops up and ask if you want a pair. And interestingly, you can do that with the TickPots 2 Pro too. Now you do have to download the Mobvoi app for either iOS or Android. But once you do that, the first time you open the TickPots 2 Pro, the same pop-up window opens up and you can choose to sync right there. And once you pair, these buds are connected to your phone automatically every time. So another smart feature of the AirPods that are actually not in a lot of other competing wireless earbuds, it's the ability to detect when you've taken out an earbud to stop music automatically. So say for example, if you listen to a podcast or a song and someone comes up to you to talk to you, you can take out your AirPod and the music will stop automatically. You don't have to touch your phone. The TakePods 2 Pro can do that too. So I'm pretty impressed and it works pretty well. So right now I have music playing. If I take it on my ear, the music stops automatically. But that's not all. The TickPods 2 Pro offers several more smart features that even the AirPods uh, Pro doesn't bring. So the first of these is I can control music playback by voice. Play music. Next song. Next song. But of course you can control audio playback by touch too by simply tapping on the stems of the, pop of the buds. Now, this touch sensitive part here doesn't just register taps. You can also swipe on it. So, TickPods Pro 2 allows you to do more. You can swipe up to increase the volume or swipe down to decrease the volume in addition to, of course, uh, playback, pausing or starting by tapping on it and double tapping to skip tracks. So being able to adjust the volume directly on the buds, it's a pretty useful feature that something that even Apple's AirPods does not allow you to do. On an AirPod, if you want to change the volume, you have to take out your iPhone. Now, TickPods 2 Pro also can detect head motion. So if you have an incoming call, you can nod your head up or down to take the call or just shake your head left to right to reject the call. I tried that yesterday with the girlfriend and it worked pretty well. And as for call quality, I can hear her perfectly fine. And she said she could hear me pretty well, except I sounded a little bit distant, like as if I was on speakerphone and standing a couple of feet away or something. There are mics on each side of the buds. So when you're in a call, one of the mics will do noise cancellation while the other one will take sound from your mouth. So I think it's a pretty cool setup. Now, unfortunately, there is no noise cancellation when you're listening to music. So that means unless you have a really good seal in your ear, you're gonna hear a little bit outside sound, which could be a blessing in disguise if you're a runner in the city. Now as for the fit, like I mentioned, so these, are hard tips just like the original airpods and they're one size fit all so they're not going to fit everyone perfectly for me they fit mostly okay you see that they're not in danger of falling off even if i'm shaking my head really fast even if i run you see the buds are staying in my ear pretty well so um i think for the most part they should fit most people but if you have smaller ear canals they might be like uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time now in terms of audio quality, I would say the sound profile is overall a little bit flat. But I think Mobvo did that on purpose because, as I mentioned, these buds, they can be paired with a companion app. And once you pair with that, you can go inside and actually change the EQ, dial, the bass, or treble, or whatever you like. But even after I fixed it, like even I dialed up the bass a little bit, I still found that the music 
that I listen to overall it's not as dynamic it doesn't sound as full or immersive as on the AirPods Pro now the AirPods Pro are probably some of the best sounding wireless earbuds around so maybe that's not a fair comparison if I compare the TakePods 2 Pro to something more at this price range then um, I actually think the sound is pretty fine it's not great it's fine now it might just be the music I listen to too because I listen to a lot of hip-hop so the stuff I listen to generally has a little bit more bounce to it you know but if I listen to pop music like say Taylor Swift or something or if I listen to uh, Canto Pop or podcasts then these buds are actually perfectly fine in fact they're great for podcasts because they're so well balanced that you hear the voices of the podcasters very clearly you're not gonna get drowned out by like overly high bass or like background treble or noise and all that now in terms of battery life on a single charge these buds last for four hours and the charging case brings an additional 23 hours so you're getting 27 hours of music playback from just a fully charged case now the case is pretty small so i like that that means it can fit into my pocket very easily along with my phone and my wallet and my keys and not create a bulge and then another good news the case is charges via usb-c so that's a win no more micro usb in gadgets okay okay so the tickbox 2 pro sells for 139 dollars that's a little bit higher than a lot of the wireless earbuds on the market right now but i think the tickbox 2 pro actually offers more features than any of those i mean i haven't tested wireless earbuds that allows me to control music with my voice and also take calls by nodding or shaking my head yet so i think if you factor in all that 139 is a pretty reasonable deal considering airpods pro costs about 100 bucks on top of that now i do think airpods pro still sound better and they still sync with the iphone a little bit more naturally so if you're an iphone user you still want to just get might as well spend the extra 100 bucks and get the airpods pro but if you're on an android i think the tickpods 2 pro are about as good as it gets right now now i do wish the stems were a little bit shorter but at least these buds are in dark blue that almost look black so i think they hide a little bit better especially if i'm wearing dark clothing or maybe for people with darker skin you know blend in a little bit better the airpods they stick out like sore thumbs because they're white i think apple made it white because they want everyone to see it from far away so these i think they blend in a little bit better but still i do wish they were shorter because i'm still not a fan of stuff like sticking out of my ear like that but I will be using these buds because I do like them a lot. So yeah, these are TakePods 2 Pro and they are probably the most feature-packed wireless earbuds I've tested yet. So that's about it for now. I'm going to have more videos coming up, including on a new Oppo phone. And I'm going to be going to MWC in Barcelona, so I'm going to have a lot more coverage on that. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. Man, I have a lot of stuff coming in February. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.